Transportation systems around the globe emerged on the scene in the 20th century. So if we're thinking big picture, moving stuff with machines is a new thing. But it really didn't get rolling until we had the combustion engine, the jet plane, and an empty container. That's when the game really changed. We use planes, trains, and automobiles. And don't forget drones to move mountains literally. Fortunately, with all the advancement in the 20th century, we also get to experience these epic moves. We could now film them, from wide loads to heavy ones to almost impossible loads too. Here are 15 of the most incredible transport operations in history. Czech Transport this transport operation was from a city in the Czech Republic to a town not so close by. And the journey this container takes is absolutely awesome. Slow but absolutely challenging. Either it's white knuckles holding your chair exciting or it's eyes wide open and mind blown exciting because whichever you experience, there's no denying that this is an incredible transport operation. They managed to slide this cargo under a bridge. Nicely done all thanks to the internal combustion engine or four-stroke engine invented in 1889 combined with some wheels. Road vehicle operations were changed forever, faster and more comfortable. The combustion engine permitted extended flexibility of movements with fast and inexpensive transport modes such as automobiles, buses and trucks, door to door. Then the set jet era in the middle of the last century really shook up transport. Suddenly, we were moving stuff in the sky as opposed to across the water in boats. Yet even basic road transports can be absolutely epic, like this check move. You wouldn't want to be stuck behind this driver. Could you handle a ride like this, or would you rather watch from the side of the road? Bagger 288 Reigning in as the largest land vehicle in the world, the Bagger 288 is another extraordinary feat of human ingenuity. It allows us to carve through the planet like it was a game of Minecraft. With its massive size and colossal excavator blade, this vehicle is a daunting looking piece of machinery. It looks more like a moving skyscraper than any type of vehicle. It's taller than the Eiffel Tower and Statue of Liberty, and it's been featured in video games, TV shows, and film. It truly is a one to behold. The massive blade, the towering pulley, and cable system that allows for an exact and efficient way to quarry, excavate, and shift rock and dirt. With its massive bucket blade, this monstrosity can move 9 million cubic feet of soil in one day. When it hits the targeted resource, such as brown coal, it can excavate a whopping 250,000 tons of fossil fuel a day. That's enough to power a small country for a year. As you'd expect, with a large moving vehicle such as this, it takes a village to keep it operating correctly, efficiently, and safe. Shuttle Endeavor Through my research on this topic, I found it fascinating how many gears are turning and have turned that most will never see if they don't do a little digging. Some of the most spectacular creations of the human race required spectacular operations. You don't see the blood, sweat, and tears often, so to speak. With this in mind, think of what it might require moving the space shuttle across the country, especially around the congested streets of Los Angeles, as exemplified in the video. Putting the legend that is the space shuttle went to a decommissioned state isn't as easy as signing a few documents. You have to transport the shuttle to its resting place, which is, of course, to finish the operation. And an enormous amount of manpower and planning goes into that. From locking down traffic down to the paving of large enough to accommodate roads to transport, moving the behemoth from one end of the city to another, that was a considerable undertaking. The shuttle can now be viewed on display at the California Science Center. Check it out, and when you do, think of the journey the great shuttle has had through its lifespan. <laughs> Muon G2 Magnet Magnets are fun, as any kid will tell you. Heck, even as most adults will tell you. But where there is great fun, at extreme magnetic polarizations, it can become dangerous. Nothing will stop the force of two highly magnetic forces attracted to each other, other than the opposing polar effect, of course. As you can imagine, moving a magnet with such power, let alone its 50-foot diameter, could not have been easy. In the video, you can see that it wasn't. The famed magnet that is said to be able to detect phantom particles in the universe has made a historic journey. 
3,200 miles over land and sea. Can you imagine trying to transport anything 50 feet wide down the block, let alone across thousands of miles? We're talking road closures, multiple law enforcement connections and communication, and nearly the space of a four-lane highway for transport the entire way. Those are a lot of factors, even just one of them, that all make up this transport. One of the most extensive and well-organized projects on the planet, from Brookhaven, New York, to the Fermi Particle Lab in Illinois, the magnet traveled upon the back of a wide-load semi. It was escorted through small and large cities alike. <sighs> Mirrors for the world's biggest optical telescope The giant Magellan Telescope is the largest in the world, and with the largest comes extraordinary sized materials. A telescope uses a series of lenses, mirrors, and reflectors, and can see incredible distances. You can imagine how far a telescope toting these mirrors can gaze. Just look at the mass of only just one mirror. Measuring 30 feet in diameter, these extremely fragile materials were transported across the country with many more mirrors yet to be transported. For now, the telescope is nothing more than scattered pieces at manufacturing plants around the world. So the entire thing is a global transportation effort at this point, one never before undertook. With uncharted waters comes issues. There are timing issues, which parts should arrive first, storage issues, sometimes parts are completed before installation, which requires a massive amount of space for the storage. The entire thing is one global science and transportation coordination to the likes never before done since the pyramids of Egypt. It's good to see that human ingenuity is still alive and kicking, producing some of the most fascinating things to hit our planet. Harriet Gas Turbine this thing weighs 440 tons and is 358 feet in length and 23 feet in width. If the size and weight aren't enough of an obstacle to overcome, a turbine is also a highly sensitive piece of equipment with components meticulously timed, moving at within extremely tight tolerances, all while keeping the fragile blades from taking any damage, which is the number one issue when considering transportation. It's hard enough to get turbines from one end of the room to another, let alone across the globe, yet that is precisely what they did. Traveling across Europe at a breaking point of 10 miles per hour, the road ahead was a long and meticulous one. Luckily for the transportation team, they had a crowd to cheer them on a good majority of the trip. With a turnout to the likes of a bicycle tour, support like that and a team dedicated to making the trip is a resounding success. The turbine finally landed at its destination, safe, free from damage, and marked in the history books. <coughs> Nuclear waste. As far as transportation efforts go, none are as locked and secure, dangerous and permanent as the transportation of nuclear waste. As you can imagine, there are a significant amount of dangers associated with transport for both citizens, the workers, and the world just the same. The most dangerous thing of all is that there is a no dump zone for nuclear waste and it doesn't just disappear. To give you an example, one of the worst nuclear related disasters in history Chernobyl has been an unlivable plot of land for hundreds of years, with probably a hundred more remaining. There have been signs of wildlife finally arising in the area as of late, but that doesn't deem the area safe. With nuclear waste transportation, you can imagine considerable precautions, including the type of storage, transportation, paving, and distances they're allowed to travel with an inspection. With more than three semi-trucks of radioactive activity, signage visibly posted everywhere, and secure systems that could lock down Godzilla with ease, transporting nuclear waste is rightfully so one of the most dangerous transportation projects of modern times. Over the past 40 years, thousands of shipments have made their way across the United States safe and secure, a testament to technology and care that goes into the transportation of this radioactive material. Cheers to all my brothers out there that's hauling this stuff across town. Thank you for staying vigilant. Sea Platform Troll A Nope, I'm not talking about the fantastic creature awaiting your toll fee. I'm talking about the world's most massive object ever transported. 
that's right, the largest of the large, an offshore natural gas rig on the backs of a fleet of tug and haul boats. I mean, this thing is massive and stands on over 250,000 tons of steel and concrete. That's a whole lot of material, let alone a move. I can't even imagine the logistics of moving something so massive. A slight course adjustment could send a crack through its concrete pillars or crumble a steel beam. The precision and coordination required for such an undertaking would have to be as massive as the structure itself, if not bigger. Though today, it no longer stands as the tallest offshore platform. That title is now held by the Petronius platform but it could have never happened if not for the success and logistical execution of the transportation of Troll A. It stands today as a legend and giant that started a new wave of offshore drilling. <laughs> Hueg Target Hoeg Target is the largest vehicle carrier in the world. This massive ship can transport thousands of vehicles or fewer, larger ones across the globe, and it does it multiple times a year since its birth in 2015. From Norway to the United States to the Panama Canal, the Hoeg Target sails the seven seas from coast to coast, delivering its cargo. From construction vehicles to commercial to vehicle components, the Hueg Target is the largest and busiest of its class. This massive ship measures 200 meters in length and 40 meters in width. That's nearly the length of two football fields. JJ, transporting giant man-made things is one marvel. How about giant living things like, say, a whale? Caught stranded and beached on the Los Angeles coast, the baby whale, later named JJ, had been stranded and suspected without food for weeks. Due to its condition, it couldn't be released back into the wild without it either dying soon or dying and resurfacing right there on the beach. Something had to be done. From SeaWorld to aquatic preserves, they denied access to the baby whale. With no housing or manpower to deal with extreme care required to house and eventually release back into the wild, SeaWorld finally caved and allowed the baby whale, where it was raised and cherished at SeaWorld for years as the whale with a character. She weighed over 2,000 pounds at the time of release and she's swimming happily in ocean blue. Scientists have tagged her and can watch her position as she roams her natural habitat. So how exactly do you move a whale, you might be asking? With a whole lot of manpower and a whole lot of big hearts. Many volunteers turned up to help get the whale from the rented 24-foot U-Haul and onto the beach. Even LAPD was in the water, fully geared, helping push the behemoth back into its home. If nothing else, the scene and transportation of the majestic creature displayed how humans and nature can have a symbiotic relationship with both benefiting from the other. The Statue of Liberty If you didn't know, the Statue of Liberty was a gift of sort. With some hidden agenda between the pages of a gift was an artist who had the vision to create a lighthouse in the shape of a woman and an opportunity that was too good to pass up. It wasn't built by the US. It was a supposed gift from France for winning independence, but that has later been rebuked. First constructed in France by renowned artists and luminary sculptors alike, Lady Liberty was a massive undertaking. Once it was assembled, it was deconstructed and separated into 214 large wooden crates for transport to the United States aboard the steamer Isir in 1884. That's right, on a French steamer, the massive components that would make up Lady Liberty traveled across the Atlantic for nearly a year. A year and a half after it arrived in the United States in 1885, Lady Liberty stood tall, proud, and copper-colored. Lady Liberty's first outfit was brown. The oxidation process had yet to take full effect and give it its new, now iconic green coloring. Five-ton elephant. A ton is 2,000 pounds. You can do the math. That is a large elephant. Named Oringa, this elephant is of massive weight and size. To transport the animal to its new home in the Toronto Zoo, a custom cage built for durability and size was outfitted onto the back of a semi-truck. This haul is no joke and a living thing. 
A little anger in a cramped spot or a spook from the exterior world could send the container as well as the truck and driver tumbling over the side of a mountain or flip or any number of driving dangers. If you can imagine a five-ton elephant, try and guess the containment unit that must hold it and what that alone would weigh. In conjunction with the whopping weight of the elephant, that is a haul requiring more than just a big old engine. Wide load driving, uphill torque, and shifting haul all provide for an impressive and daunting transportation operation. AN-124 the AN-124 is one of the largest cargo planes in the world. It's a titan, really, designed as a long-range troop transport, cargo drop-off, and machine transport. The AN-124 is a remarkable engineering feat with 12 wheels for taking off and landing, a cargo bay that could fit a basketball court, with also room for tanks and a truck. They serve as a military plane primarily for extensive military transporting. If they landed full of troops, it'd be a small army marching down from both its cargo compartments into the front and back of the aircraft. That's right, the nose and tail open for even more storage capacity. This thing is like the Swiss Army knife of planes too. It has cranes, winches, and roll gang support built right into the aircraft. That means it can land anywhere, unload without the assistance of ground crews, and take off again with no more than the squad and equipment on board the aircraft. This aircraft essentially made a 100-man job a 10-man job, and maybe even better. OOCL Hong Kong This thing is just enormous. I mean, a real monstrosity. The Chinese-made supercargo liner is the biggest in the world. Even though I assure you the camera does it no justice, it still is impressive and daunting. I can't help but get the chills of an enormous monster rising from the waters as I watch the liner float gently by, or as gentle as a boat of its size can be. With a vast container capacity, an overall length of nearly 400 meters, or 1,312 feet, and a width of 60 meters, 196 feet, the OOCL looks more like something ripped out of a science fiction page. This is more of a small island and manned by the population of a small country. Moving tanks. With moving tanks, you can imagine there being several factors to consider. Since a tank is solely military purposed, speed and efficiency are among top priorities. But how can you move something so huge, heavy, and deadly across a country in the matter of a few hours, as opposed to month long trips that any commercial transportation requires? Well, to put it simply, it's not easy. For the most part, they're loaded onto planes and flown to their destinations and deployed almost immediately. As easy as the military makes it look and sound, this takes an incredible amount of coordination. Operating with that type of weight poses its own kinds of danger, but it's nothing that hasn't been practiced and mastered by the United States military. If there's anyone that knows how to move them effectively, it's Russia. Unless all those rows of tanks we see over and over are just the sheer vastness that is the Russian armored military, where there isn't quantity, there is transportation. And from being loaded into amphibious assault vehicles to trucks, to planes, tanks can be deployed anywhere in the world in an expeditious manner. Humans have accomplished some massive logistical accomplishments over the years, dating as far back as ancient Egypt during the construction of the pyramids. That means we've been doing things like this since the beginning of recorded history. It's in our blood to create and defy. The way we transport those components is an art and spectacle in and it of itself that deserves as much recognition as whatever it is that it's towing. I think that it's a beautiful example of the incredible feats humans can accomplish when working together. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. And if you want to be notified the moment a new one drops, subscribe to stay up to date.